don't argue with crazy. It's one of my golden rules. I love that book, um, The Gift of Fear by Gavin De Becker. One of the things he talks about is that if someone's crazy and you get in an argument with them, that actually fuels them. They like it. They like an argument going nowhere. They like that kind of negative attention. But it doesn't get you anywhere. So if you're getting involved in that, uh, it's a no-win situation. You've got to back yourself out of that. For example, the park the other day, usually what happens is um, someone will come in and uh, while we're at the park, while I'm exercising with a client or with a friend, there will be some cleaning going on. But there was this strange young guy who would come in with the council truck and he, instead of opening up the gate in the morning, he locked it, took out his blower, and while everyone was waiting to try and get into the park, he was just blowing leaves around the path. And I said, hey, 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 excuse me, I tried to get his attention. He was wearing earmuffs and he looked at me and he pointed to his earmuffs and he was like, which kind of made me a little bit mad, you know. Obviously, that's not the most polite thing to do. And I tried to get his attention again. He's like, and started blowing. So we were waiting, and everyone was waiting outside the park for about 20 minutes, doing nothing, while this guy basically blew trash around. He wasn't really cleaning. He was just blowing trash from the park into the grass. So he, he finished, and he walked around, and I was like, excuse me, sir. It's not really um, polite, it's really rude if you just point to your earphones and pretend not to hear me when I'm trying to ask you a question. He said, well, well, I had a job to do, didn't I? <laughs> the park's clean, that's all that matters. I was like, still, you can open the park door and let us in while you're blowing stuff around. He said, no, 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 I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time to chat with you. I need a job to do, I've, got, I've done my job. And then we got in an argument. I broke my rule. I argued with crazy. I could see in his eyes too that he had this kind of little bit of crazy violence. I was like, what am I doing? I'm arguing with someone who started off a conversation with, it's not going to really get much better to, from there. It's not going to become this rational discussion. I've fallen into a dysfunctional pattern. All right? And so I encourage you, think about your life. And if there's a crazy person, if there's a dysfunctional situation which you find yourself getting wound up in and arguing with crazy, you've got to stop doing that. Here's your mental makeover. Think about your life. Think if there's any dysfunctional situation in your life or someone that is a little bit dysfunctional or crazy that you get into arguments with. I want you to think of a way of not getting involved in those conflicts that go anywhere. Your one minute mental makeover, identify a dysfunctional person or situation and write down a way which you can limit those interactions. On your marks, get set, go.